Okay. Ouch. Shouldn't have done that. Holy crap, it's already 8.30. Oh, you know, 10 to 9. <laughs> Do not have to care. That was the Battle of Brenna then. The fact that they won against me is disturbing to say the least. We need more tech. We need more tech. So what do I want from you? God damn it. Fucking rebels. Okay, let's go with that. Conquest of Jerusalem, oh yeah! Give me that extra freaking missionary. You can use it. Real, real badly. Oh, we actually had some separatists. Interesting. care about my money? Uh, maybe I should. We should do something about it. So I can field even bigger armies. <sighs> Siege down French Canada would be annoying. So I want to siege down French Canada. Probably should. Sitting down all of these colonies will give me more merchants in the future. Which will mean tons and tons of money. But it creates more manufactories. Increase future profits. <laughs> uh, now I've 
only I could collect everywhere and push trade the way I want it to be pushed. If only. <laughs> I do really, really want a royal marriage over Sweden. Because if it happens before we inherit Hungary, well, then we actually gain the achievement. And that without the second, um, the second, you know, just native, normal, um, Austrian union that they just get for free. <laughs> oh, Muscovy completely collapsed. How are you doing, Nothgarot? Holy crap, you're good. You're very good. And... I still... owing me... at least one more province. Can do it. Disorder. Terrible. And <laughs> how random. The so guys, we have a disorder. Okay. Okay, then stability goes down. Just random disorder. So Great Britain can have some land up here. <laughs> oh, we'll integrate them eventually, right? And they have some cores right here, so... Yep, they retain their cores. What do you mean my HRE IDs and my own? I only have the the Austrian ideas. Oh look, I can pick a new one. Diplo rep goes up even further. Hello there, annexation chance of Hungary. <laughs> Why deform it so quickly? Because I wanted to. I really, really wanted to. Because I enjoy it more if I can move my troops myself. I know that the Vassal Swarm would be slightly more stronger. I know that the Vassal Swarm would be kind of convenient, but it also doesn't make for a very entertaining video, I think. If all you do is just not even move any troops, not even move a finger, you can essentially just click on countries declare war and wait. It's also because my Vassal Swarm wasn't that strong and was freaking annoying. Essentially the fact that I couldn't move one province gave me the rest. Like they were sitting in here, there were 20,000 Ottomans here, they had 80,000 troops here and they just didn't move. There was nothing blocking them, they just didn't move. 
So I got fed up with them. And click the button. Who needs a vassal swarm anyways? Okay, that Damascus calling. <laughs> Ouch. Let's make a short piece of a Castile, I think. To give me war reps and all of their money. That's it. Peace for you. So we're gonna have enough to give away with France, I think. What are my ideas? My ideas are the Austrian ones. I have Austrian ideas which are absolutely wonderfully overpowered. Oh crap. Quickly! Quickly! <laughs> My navy might just die here. I might just have sacrificed my navy to the god. Of not looking at all. <laughs> Austria is the best country in fact. <laughs> well, it's pretty damn close. It's right next to the best country in the world. No. Fleet was lost. Actually, it's only like one ship that was lost. Come on, come on, come on. And boom. There we go. That'll make a beautiful colonial nation. <laughs> uh, potentially, yes. Uh, eat it. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate Hate so much hate. Okay. Get me some more channels. Don't have the money, so I'll just lose this ability. We'll get some eventually again. <laughs> that sucks in you for yeah, it does. <laughs> uh. You'll stop already? Gosh darn it. X tune, gosh darn it. Could have been so entertaining, but then you decide to be the corona up here. Does it suck though? What? Switzerland and EU4? Well, its ideas are kind of mediocre. It's not like the worst ideas in the world, but they're mediocre, very mediocre. Oh, come 
on. Such lameness, friends. Such freaking lameness. I want all of the colonies. There we go. I only have to give this one to my little vessel. Wonderful. Do you mean plus 50 permanent relations? Swiss guard ideas? I don't actually know. I don't actually know which ideas that those are. Also, hmm. Let's first convert everything here. Ah, we don't have any more missionaries. Lame. I guess I can start by... Coring then. As long as I don't core five at a time, that's fine. Still way ahead of time and stuff. Plenty of points. France is no longer a valid rival. No. No. Okay, Ergon, totally valid. How about live on your order? Yes. And Sweden. Sure thing. Aragon. Do you still have a truce? Four more years. Sweden, do you still have a truce? A ton actually no more years. We can could attack Sweden right now. If we want to. If I feel like some Swedish meatballs. It is an option. It's an option for dinner. <laughs> Wait, it's plus 50 permanent relations or just plus 50 relations? Because if it's permanent, then... <laughs> is Great Britain under a union? Yes, he is. I unionized him. <laughs> oh, four more years. Still. This is my current empire. With 200 years to go. <laughs> Looks pretty good, I think. Pretty good. I should have known that. <laughs> I don't know all the events. I, I'm fairly well versed in national ideas and everything. But events? There's just so many. But yeah, in that case, I would just stay Catholic it's plus 50 relations that's essentially a permanent boost to your papal authority well not papal authority papal influence discovery spread wallaby plateau <laughs> oh, England we'll have land all over the world What, my favorite nation? I seriously have no idea. Probably the Ottomans. <laughs> the Ottomans are a ton of fun to play. <laughs> Plus 50 permanent relations with everybody. <laughs> uh. 
That would have been hilarious. It would be a way overpowered thing. Hmm. Get me some more manpower. So is it cheaper? No, it's not. In the beta patch, it will be cheaper if you have the previous buildings, so building them early is not just a huge mistake. So yeah, it's very annoying. Right now, they're all like the original cost of 305, 305, 305. That will change in the new patch. And I love it. Growing popularity of tobacco. So you're telling me that we need some tobacco ourselves. <laughs> a huge mistake. I'm not sure if I would call it a huge mistake, but yeah, that it's certainly more difficult. And we wanted to, when I did the big blue blob campaign, it was so much easier going back to this patch for true, for the AE, but also because it's just there's so many bugs in the beta patch. The forts are so unfinished, it's horrible. Mm -mm -mm, look at all that manpower. We can get thousands. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me another building slot. No, it's woods. That explains it. That explains it all. <laughs> oh, I love it. And a loader, Michael. I need to get the uh, holy cities as well. These two provinces will give me another missionary. And I want it. I want it badly. The Monian Order is still alive. It's right there. They even expanded a little bit. <laughs> and is apparently worthy of being my rival. So, Galathia, are you done coring it? Nope, have you started yet? Nope. Well, darn it. Oh, I didn't take any land next to them. And I can't do a cleansing of heresy when I'm not next to them. But the level one in order we can attack. But it would cost precious, precious diplo points, which we have so few of. We're only making eight. And eight is not enough. Mm -mm -mm. Especially when we are just waiting for that extra Diplo relations. That's right, one more. Three Diplo relations, so good. <laughs> more Diplo re relations, all of them. Expansion ID is for one more. I'll probably even start creating like um client states out here. Just so we can actually vassal vassal annex it. The only thing we have to do for that is not let it be overseas. Ho 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 Sweden Sweden
Glorious, glorious Sweden. You might have to attack it. I mean, I don't really want to, but... I mean, we have no choice. Our vassals demand an attack on Sweden. Okay, let's find all the... Seniors of Merck. My wonderful frontline troops. There we go. <laughs> Swedish master race. Ah. They'll not hold out against my troops. They'll die. Just like all the others. <laughs> oh, poor Muscovy. They were literally ripped to shreds. They used to be so huge. But then the Holy Roman Empire happened to them. Actually, they were already like being crushed by the hordes almost. Well, not crushed, but they had very big troubles against the hordes. And then we came in, and that was that. That's Sweden. That's Sweden. <laughs> we actually won with that. Goodbye, Sweden. Oh, hey, the Livonian Order came in on the Swedish side. I should have looked at or seen that earlier. Oh, well. Destroy them! Destroy them because it's fun! Schnitzel is better than Meatball. The <laughs> Austrian <laughs> Master is gonna curb stomp him. Hell. It's a, it's, it's a joint German effort. Wanna build some mercs in yours? Oh, they're actually too expensive, so never mind. Nearly pizza time? You're reminding me that I might have pizza for tonight's dinner because it's so easy. Mmm, frozen pizza. Mmm, tasty. Dum 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 dum. Sending my troops around. Yay! How about you guys go up here? <laughs> 321k. Sure, sure. I mean, it's, it's only 1604, but. I'll take all that manpower. It's so powerful. Like, this area is just so freaking powerful. <laughs> I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Also, goddamn, there is the achievement which I didn't get, actually.
Yeah, I didn't get that one. Yet. Maybe I'll do like a quick achievement run for that one. Definitely wasn't holy. And it definitely wasn't Roman either. Nor was it an empire. <laughs> it was more like a loose confederation. And it was it was not Roman, it was German. And it was not holy, it was a very, very worldly. So yeah. At least for most of its history, I guess. Maybe you could make an argument. Maybe you could make an argument that it was like holy at some point, and that was an empire at some point. But certainly not in the time frame presented by this game. Hey there, Swedish bastards. Can I come and kill you? No. Okay, fine. Damn it. Just teach him up slowly. <laughs> but it was interesting to say the least like whenever you have European history the Holy Roman Empire is probably the most interesting part of it ever since had all those the twists and turns and politics holy crap the politics of it the families that all tried to become emperor and failed and just died or became emperor and became the greatest freaking dynasty in all of Europe ever money again I don't think so oh hey there additional points that we don't need just get some more manpower I guess Tear actually said it. Interesting. Wonderful. I mean, it's in the land that we all can lose, but who cares? Fuck church power. We don't need church power. Nobody needs church power ever. Hey there, Sweden. We are coming for you. Occupation of Finland done as well. <laughs> what do we even want from Sweden? I think I'm just going to feed Novgorod. Actually, I can't feed Novgorod right now. Maybe I should release Denmark and feed them. Oh yes, 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 yes. Or eat all the Danish land and then feed them. They still have all the cores. They do. Well, not quite all of them, but most of them. Most of their cores still exist. Do we have to have a freaking... Yeah, we would have to have that one sieged. This might not take that core. Sure. I'll take that, Sweden. Thank you for offering it. Yeah. 
Your horse has Japan? Really? Why? Shouldn't you be like the master of wars? Seeing how you have the highest discipline in the entire game? Oh, we are the attacker? Lame. It's not attack. Japan, freaking 10 discipline. Just an absolute beauty. Not just do it in occupied territory. Lame. For siege to such an important province. The horse are all allied to Ming. Yeah, that sounds bad. Sounds pretty bad. And just grow out. Grow. Grow into the new world. Attempting to core it. You aren't even trying. Look, Sweden, the British freaking fleet has arrived. And they're gonna hurt you. They're gonna hurt you so bad. Hey there. No? Oh. Arriving on the 17th? I know you'll be arriving. The 11th? The 11th of another month. Okay then. I guess I might be attacking. Oh, I don't care, they're all mercenaries. My level of caring has dropped to unimaginable levels. Mamluk separatists? No way, what can it be like Syrians? Die, rebels, die. Hey, those are the two, two that we haven't converted yet. Conversions are slightly important. Especially for our colonies. Wouldn't want them to die, would we? Oh, you aren't converting a Protestant one, are you? Okay, no, it's fine. It's just a little graphical glitch, probably because we were still converting when he came around and. We can convert some more. Maybe core some more as well? Ah, I see. Ah, <laughs> you lost your money. 
Oh, it's not exactly Germany now, is it? After all, this is my Austrian game. Maybe I should do a Prussian game at one point. Like Brandenburg into Prussia into Germany. And do the Germany like very late game. Go through most of the game as Prussia. be converted by the time they core. Then we'll have a beautiful colonial nation up there. It's only five provinces, but that's fine. We left Can French Canada there for a reason. Because we wanted France to like get another colony out. Yes, despite not having a port, they still get another colony out. Why? Well, because they're French Canada. That's why. At least I think that's the reason why they can still colonize. And with that they'll have 10 col regions, which if you feed it all to our colony, means we have a 10, you know, 10 province colony, and we get a freaking merchant for it. And every single merchant will mean massive, massive money. Massive money, like money that will make you laugh like a maniac because it's so massive. And yes, these are all mercenaries. <laughs> uh... This one is a regular army, but this is all mercenaries. And a single one of my own units in combat. And boom! Relationships lot. <laughs> and of course, envoy travel time. So good. Oh, not justified demands going down. Which I don't think we really need anymore because religious wars. Everything is justified in a religious war, right? Right. And I'm pretty sure we are the biggest religion now. Just show me that religious memo, please. Provinces. Oh, yes. Biggest religion in the world. At least when it comes down to provinces. I'm pretty sure my our sensors have stopped converting. Oh, they haven't. Ah, oh, wonderful. You can just force convert everything and it'll be beautiful. Loving it. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> oh, I hear that, my friends. We must go to war against Portugal again. Hey there, Norway. Welcome to the new world. <laughs> 